Good morning, my friends. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I'm just so thankful how our God answers our prayers, desires of our hearts, and things that we ask for that maybe nobody else will hear. Because I have been just desiring to travel, yes, and the Lord has been opening up doors for me to do Zoom meetings. And Wednesday, as we sat with Zoom from Never Kur, I call her sister Never from Kuwait all the way to Lebanon and Egypt and Syria and then it goes all the way to Armenia and then to Europe and then to America. As women we are joined together to just worship the Lord, encourage one another, and the Lord gave me a word to bring them. And as I was sharing Isaiah 43, verse 1, where it says, I have called you by name. The Lord knows us by name. As I was sharing that verse, it made Never Kur, who is the leader of the group from Kuwait, remember her testimony almost 40 years ago in Lebanon. And what's amazing is one of my daddy's favorite verses is John 15, 16. And we were studying this on Wednesday night with the women where Jesus said, I am the vine, you are the branches. The father is the husbandman that takes care of the vine and the branches. And we bring Fourth fruit, if we abide in Christ, Jesus said, abide in me because with me, you can do. Yes, I can do all things. We will bring forth fruit. But if we don't abide in the Lord without him, we can do nothing. And then John 15, 16, which was one of my daddy's favorite verses. It says, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. Your fruit should remain that whatsoever you shall ask of the father in my name, he may give it to you. Our fruit we're bringing should remain because the father is glorified when we bring forth fruit. And I have seen people come to me and say, you know, I got saved in your daddy's meetings. And it just brings me so much joy that his fruit is remaining. The fruit that he brought for the glory of the Father God. And on Wednesday, when Sister Never was sharing her testimony, she said, Brother Adam, who now lives in Boston, and I called him, he's still serving the Lord. He was one of my daddy's favorite or one of his students, Bible school students, because there were so many there. Uncle Habib was one of them, and Daddy just loved them all, and they served the Lord. And Uncle Habib is in heaven now, but Brother Aram is still serving the Lord. That was the fruit that remained. And then Sister Never sharing her testimony that she got saved through Brother Aram in meetings in Lebanon, Almost 40 years later, the fruit is still remaining because Sister Novel is a tool in the hands of the Lord today, serving the Lord with such joy, such gladness, such encouragement she is. And I just love that because the Lord is able to do far above exceedingly beyond what we ask or imagine or think. Because when I was in First Chronicles, now I'm in Second Chronicles chapter 1, now it says in Solomon, the son of David, Solomon was the fruit of David's life. Yes, David had many mistakes. God forgave him because he writes in Psalms, blessed is the man whose transgressions are forgiven him because he knew the forgiveness of the Lord and he brought forth fruit and it was Solomon. And now Solomon was the king and God had put him as king. And the Lord God was with him, magnified him exceedingly and strengthened him. And then he worships the Lord. Solomon worships the Lord as he is giving sacrifice that night. Verse 7, that night God appeared unto Solomon and said unto him, ask what I shall give you. The Lord said, ask what I shall give you. And when I read that, I said, Lord, in Matthew 7, 7, you told us, Jesus told the people and told us today, he's telling us, ask and it shall be given. Because 7, 7 says, ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door will be opened unto you. So we are commanded also, it says the heavenly father knows what you need, but you need to ask. So today we ask. 
He knows our needs, yes, but we come to him, we ask him, and he is able to do far above, exceedingly beyond. I love Ephesians 3.20, and it says, Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us, unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. These are Ephesians 3, 20, 21, such beautiful verses. And when Solomon asked, because his father had said to him, you're going to need wisdom and knowledge to lead these people. He said to the Lord, Lord, give me now wisdom and knowledge that I may go out and come in before these people. And the Lord, who is God that does far above exceedingly beyond, this is what happened. Because God said to Solomon, this was in your heart and you have not asked for riches and wealth and honor and the life of your enemies. Neither have you asked for long life, but I've asked for wisdom and knowledge for yourself over whom you have been king over these people. Wisdom and knowledge is granted unto you. The Lord was going to give him and he did. He became Solomon became one of the greatest kings, one of the wisest kings that ever lived on this earth. It says, I will give you that and then I am going to give you also riches and wealth and honor such as none of the kings have had that have been before you, neither shall there any after you have the like. The Lord is able to do far above, exceedingly beyond what we ask or imagine or think. So today, Jesus is saying, ask. The Father knows what you need, but you need to ask. And when we ask of the Father God, in the name of Jesus, our Savior, our Lord, because he said, come to the Father in my name, then the Father God will give us everything that we need and far beyond what he blesses us with because that is who our God is. And I'm just amazed because as I'm reading Solomon's story, I'm encouraged once again that we serve a God who is able to do far above, exceedingly beyond. According to Ephesians 3.20, we can claim that from the Lord today. Be blessed today.